Somebody's mad at you, you have no idea why. Uh -huh. She's that type. So what's your advice to guys yeah, that have women going through their phone? What would you tell them? Uh, just get it fingerprinted, face printed, <laughs> everything printed, and sleep with your hands closed. With Tyler Perry's 25 um, anniversary coming up, mm -hmm. being here, what does it mean for black actresses and actors to own your own work and to own your own writing credits and things well, like we that? We don't really know because he's the only one. So what would be nice is if someone else can actually do it as well. Remember, lots of people could have done what he did, right. but no one did. Okay. Very true. A lot of folks could have done it, but they didn't. Like when you say they could have done it, they just chose not to do it? I don't know. But think of all the folks that ascended and got a lot of really good breaks and made a lot of dough. Yeah. He's the only one that decided to create his own studio, own everything he does, yeah. put it together, and employ 7,000 people in Atlanta, okay? A lot of people could have done it, but he's the only one who did do it. You said it all. I don't even have another question. Thank you for that. You're wow. Welcome. Thank, Thank about, you. I mean, think yes. Think I, I think definitely about all the folks right. that, have, that really have done it. Exactly. Who could have done it. Who could have done it. Yeah. He's the only one that did. Wow. Thank and you. And how lucky are you because y'all are meeting some, someone that none of us have ever gotten to meet. And that is the owner. Of the studio. You didn't meet the Warner Brothers. I didn't meet the Warner Brothers. But you're meeting the owner of Tyler Perry Studios. That's a big deal. A Make big sure deal. you do a whole story about what he's been able to accomplish. That's absolutely. Just to give you some history, we're all Black Magazine and I'm the CEO. Nice. So being here is very special to us. They told us to come at like 12 o'clock. Right. And we got it together right. because we know how important this is. And as you said, a lot of people could have did it. They did it. When you look at all yeah. the folks that all those CEOs, right. all those folks that you know had you know networks, oh and student friends. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, I kind of want to hug you. Like that was so good. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. So how do you continue to bring black characters to light in so many different scenarios? Because usually in Hollywood, they either want us, you know, working as a janitor or doing a low-level job. So how do you continue to just bring us to light in so many different scenarios that we can all appeal to? Well, first of all, owning my own studio, being black, being in power, I know there are a lot of shades of us, a lot of different colors, of, and we do, do a lot of different things. Some of us are brilliant and genius. Some of us straight-up idiots. And I want to make sure that everybody gets an opportunity to be represented because I have all those people in my family and I've been a little bit of those in, in time from time and time again. Yeah. We agree. Yeah. For you talked a lot about ownership. Yeah. And ownership is really big because like you said, you can make those um, decisions to put people in different positions. You said you were doing um, diversity before it was popular. Right. So what does that mean to you to see so many people push diversity now that it is the end thing to do? It's good. It's good. If people are working, then that's great because there will be a time when Viola Davis and, and, and Kerry Washington and Taraji and all these people interest they couldn't get jobs so they came to me so to see everybody being having an opportunity to work now I'm, I'm all for it but don't come in here like y'all the one that did it because right. when we've been fighting for it all this time no, so yeah. yeah that's right that's these 25 really years it's been going so yeah wow. and you look amazing for having 25 years in so yeah, good have my, job have my age Oh, 
All right, so my favorite was Whoopi. Whoopi was so, like, dope, and she was a little intimidating, a little scared of her, but she's a mother. I called her mother on red carpet, and she and said... And got a hug. And she's... Wait, but when I said mother, she was like, what? Right. I was like, mother, icon. She was like, oh. But she was really good. She was good in the movie. She was really funny, and she was just had so much wisdom. What she said about, like, a lot of people could have did what Tyler did, but just didn't do... That should hit home, cause anyone could have started a black magazine for like black girls and black boys and like LGBT, but they just didn't do it, you know, you know. And maybe they are my end, which I hope it doesn't hit, cause I hope we get to stay where we at. Right. But that being said, I mean that was really cool. Um, who about how about you? Like who um, did you like? I love Pika because she was so elegant, graceful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. The details of what she was wearing and just she's just graceful. So any questions that you ask her, she just answers it with such poise like i loved her oh my gosh i was telling my mom like should i mention that i got fired on the vlog she's like no don't do it i'm not gonna well, do she, it we mentioned it <gasps> so gabby got fired today i got you know, fired you guys like on some <laughs> as a creative we do a lot of hustles i went to paris for the brand spent a lot of money in paris and london and i picked up a job my uncle got it for me and i'm so appreciative it just didn't work and it sucks it really does but I didn't really want the job, and I wanted to do it, but I mean, I don't know, and I'm trying to just be an adult, but adulting is hard, and you just, you know you don't want to be somewhere when it's like, yeah. you just have that, like, pit in your stomach, and it's just like, oh, God, I have to be here again, yeah. like, God, getting and, like, anxiety. you start, like, getting anxiety, because yeah. you just don't want to be there, and it's like, when Jada gave us the call this morning, because we literally got the call this morning, oh, we got, we're, yep. We got a, uh, we're closing out, yeah. <laughs> How long no problem. Do we have? We should probably put that in the vlog though. We're literally in Apple. Branding opportunity Apple. You should sponsor us. Okay. And we're doing this video. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, I got fired today for making this. But I don't give a f because you know I haven't had a job in like two years. You know, and I do meth eater full time. I'm really appreciative of this job. And it was what it was. I'm very I'm very appreciative. But you know, fuck, I got fired. I was gonna quit anyway, so it's just like, oh my gosh, God is good. Because you know what? guys like just stick to your dreams what tiffany said like, about just doing one thing every day like I, that meant a lot to me like every do day. one thing every day and it's do or die time